DJ Academics. Now, some love him and some hate him. He has recently basically been offered a fight to which he accepted. It seems like we're going to be seeing Academics get his squabble on and actually be getting into a fight. Now, who is he going to be fighting? ATL Jacob. ATL Jacob is somebody who's worked with a lot of top tier artists making hits. He's a great producer, if we're being completely honest. He has made a lot of songs that we know he's been the person behind the instrumental of these songs. And he basically got into it with academics. And this stemmed from the Cardi B situation. A lot of you guys will know Cardi B and Offset. They were getting into drama with one another to the point where they ended up exposing one another. Now, when they ended up exposing one another, Offset exposed something about Cardi B that is still haunting her to this day. He basically exposed the fact that Cardi B was having intercourse with men outside of the relationship while she was pregnant. Yeah, essentially, when this was going on, ATL Jacob made a cryptic post now cardi b took this cryptic post to be a sneak this essentially he ended up posting and the post it seemed like it was shots at cardi b for being exposed for having intercourse while pregnant and also with offset so cardi b was not having it she took to twitter and flamed him up she essentially went crazy like called him out called him all type of names he's a bitch basically tried to make him seem like he's not a real man for speaking on this situation and sneak this and she said something about offset pressing him also so that ended up happening and atl jacob took to a interview that he had and basically addressed the situation now when atl jacob addressed the situation he basically seemed made it seem like cardi was going crazy cool cardi was tripping he made it made it seem like he wasn't sneak dissing he wasn't getting at cardi b he basically was saying like me and offset are cool why would i do that why would I get into it with Cardi B? Speaking of misinterpreted, there's some things that got misinterpreted on Twitter the other day, too. Sure did. Uh, yeah. Because that was... You, was, you called a stray, my boy. I was so confused. Like, <laughs> so listen, I'm going to tell you what happened. So ATL Jacob posted on Twitter at, mm. at uh, probably a, a not good time to, to post on Twitter. He said, these hoes always getting exposed and ain't got no home training. Future lyric. And Cardi B said... Oh, no. P at Batman, eh, stop playing with me or I'm going to violate you. You stay shading me. I ain't going to say the, the rest, but. Yeah. yeah that yeah. thing was, I was confused because uh, I've never shaded her once. Like, I don't even really throw shade. I think the only time I ever threw some shade on Twitter was like to like one of my exes or someone I was heartbroken. Who knows? But at the end, they, you know, maybe heartbroken, but I don't shade her, never shaded her. For one, your husband, well, now ex or whatever y'all going through, that's my boy. So, it's like, yeah. why would I shade you? So, it's like, at the end of the day, I know that, shit, at the end of the day, you his BM no matter what. Mm -hmm. So, it's like, no, for sure. y'all relationship going to always be up and down. So, it's like, why would I make some type of tension there between me and you? First, and then second of all, you're a woman. Like, as a man, I can't go back and forth with a woman. I don't even go back and forth with no women in my life. You know, I've always been taught, like, you know, you got to just let them have it because sometimes they don't understand. They'll understand it later and come back and apologize. But me and Offset are cool. And I know how these things go. Toxic relationships. You guys are arguing one day. Then you make up the next day. Why would I involve myself when I know you're eventually going to be friends? That's Cardi B and Offset. Why would I not friends or in a relationship? If I know you two are going to be in a place where you're together again, why would I involve myself in your beef by making cryptic posts? Basically. That's what was happening. And Cardi still wasn't having it. Cardi didn't believe it, the whole situation. Now, where does DJ Academics come in this whole situation? Essentially, DJ Academics has the number one hip-hop media platform. At least according to Complex. Complex definitely gave him that salute. Now, he's going to cover various topics when it comes to hip-hop media. So, this was one of the topics he was covering. ATL Jacob and Cardi B. Now, Academics basically gave ATL Jacob some advice. But let me let you know this. Nobody ever wants the producer telling ducktails or telling a bunch of, you know what I mean, stories about the reality of how these records get made. Okay? So I ain't calling you a liar. But if you want to stay in this game, you probably should start, keep quiet. So. ATL Jacob, you know, kind of like, you know, and by the way, he kind of like backtracked a bit. 
even with the Thames thing. So I think with the Cardi thing is like he's kind of doing the same. Like, bruv, it's cool. Like, nigga, it's cool to be like, yo, Cardi, I didn't mean it personally. And I don't even know if you did these things. But I think it was some whole shit. A woman having sex with another man while she pregnant for another man or husband whole oh, shit like that's all he had to stand on he basically told him stick to the fucking fruity loops stick to the logic stick to the ableton sit your ass down and make them beats but cats he basically told him just make them beats and shut up stay apart the way you don't need to be talking about what's going on between this artist and this artist you don't need to be doing any of that you don't need to be giving your opinion now ATL Jacob was not having that and this is where we go to Twitter the two would end up engaging in a huge rant on Twitter and by huge I mean it was quite lengthy they were going back and forth they ended up getting into a rant on Twitter with one another where the two were throwing all type of jabs and eventually this is how it went so guys like I said the two took to Twitter to start beefing and it started out with ATL Jacob saying hey little bro at academics you sound dumb as hell Nigga said, you can't have an opinion because you're a producer. What do you think got me here? I got an opinion about every song I work on. And academics proceeded to respond with, you heard what I said, nigga. Shut the fuck up. Shraggy? He didn't say that, but I just added that one in there. Shut the fuck up and make some drums if you're going to go backpedal every single time you speak out the side of your mouth and get checked. <sighs> and then ATL Jacob responded with, nigga got DJ in his name and talked the most shit. Shut up, fat fuck, nigga. Then academics responded, You got amnesia or you just fucking retarded? Why you ain't asked why I ain't a DJ when you traveled 1,000 miles from Atlanta to New Jersey to sit in front of me like a little boy interviewing for a job? Gossiping about future and them niggas trying to impress me? ATL Jacob responded, Yeah, I Pull up in Atlanta, bitch. Academics responded, Oh, you gangster now? This one got me. I'm finally terrified, y'all. Then academic said again, sad part, I ain't even started drinking yet. That nigga think he metro or some shit. And then academics basically flexed on him, posted a video where he basically did a vlog showing his 1.5 million car collection. And then academics uh, was talking more about, I'm going to be on stream in a few hours, fin a couple bottle of Henny for this. And he ended up, did, he did end up going on stream and spazzing out as I'm about to show you guys. But then it continued. ATL Jacob said, fat fuck. At academics i'll give you 250,000 cash show me gossiping on any bro of my brother's personal lives academics responded you sound like a hoe trying to show out nigga i don't need your little money go invest that in your career i run media i love niggas like you who gossip about their niggas future etc to me i'll explain on my stream academics then said i don't let no rappers talk no type of shit to me Imagine a wannabe Metro booming ass nigga talking like he that nigga to me. Nigga, please. At ATL Jacob Beats. Then Academic said, Now he revealed his hand that all the gossiping he did to me about future is what he trying to make sure don't come out perfect. Thank you, boom ass nigga. At ATL Jacob Beats. Now, they did continue to go back and forth. I mean, real quick before we continue reading this, Academics did address ATL Jacob gossiping on a bunch of rappers, which I'm actually about to show you. It's actually crazy the stuff that apparently allegedly atl jacob was saying this tito's he told me that gonna finna die he told me rick ross live in the hood baby not like that future trying to like hold him on some points and basically told me that they don't fuck with drake but they had to put drake on the song shout out to mother atl jacob because i love times like this it's actually crazy but we'll just finish this off ATL Jacob said, nah, don't explain shit and make some shit up. Show the proof. Academic said, I ain't record our private convos, but everything I say, if I'm lying, dot, 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 you know. Future will know I'm lying, right? Because I can't make some shit up and be accurate, right? Bet that. Academic then says, I told y'all, I keep 1,000 receipts for days of weird nigga like ATL Jacob beats play with me. Go make an example. And then someone basically said, uh, academics can't come to Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> he basically referenced YSL Woody saying, hey, you guys let Woody in Atlanta, like, what are you talking about? Then he says, see y'all on stream. And that's where it kind of ended for the Twitter side of things. And he basically ended up exposing ATL Jacob for basically talking shit about his niggas. 
So after the two would finish their Twitter rant, academics would basically go on stream off of a, you know, imagine this is Hennessy, off of a couple of sips of the Hennessy, he was not holding a single fucking thing back. He went in on stream. And basically, he, initially from the first, like, words he said on the phone call, words he said on the phone call, you could tell he wasn't playing. He's was basically like, what, what are you saying about me, little nigga? Yo. Nigga, why are you online talking all that shit about me, nigga? <laughs> hey, man, what we doing? We final what? I fight. You know, I, I give you a fair one. We final what? What's up? Nigga, I don't respect you to do shit with you. So now you don't want to fight. Now you don't want to. I'll fight you fair and square. I swear to God, nigga, on my kids. I'll fight you fair and square. We, we can do a fair one. What's up? Oh, we can do that, too. I'm just All right, you. come on, win. I... Bro, I okay, bro, Nick. Hey, hey, I would, hey, I would, hey, hey, okay, I would cool. send you a jet to the clear point, nigga. Pussy, I'm not, a, I'm, I'm not no can't fly me out. Come to Jersey like you came to Jersey, just like you did before, nigga. The same spot uh, we could squabble. What was popping? Uh, you want to get gangster because you're on live? Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not even want to do that. No, I, I really want to explain. I ain't even trying to do. You the one, you the one say you want to squabble, and, and like if, you, if we talk about this, sure, bro, you been, bro, yeah, you been coming on. at me. This your third time coming at. Yeah, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Well, I'm gonna tell you why. Get your I, I for sure. Tell me what. Ain't nothing to tell me. If we ain't got them gonna fight, ain't nothing to talk about. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Oh, you trying to get like Atlanta gangster? Fuck that one. Hey. And the two ended up getting into it. A tail Jacob kind of. It seemed like he was not taking academic serious, if I'm being honest. And he basically offered him to a fight. He basically sounded like. You know what, I'm not going to put that pistol on you. I'm going to put these hands on you. So, I don't know if academics did it out of pressure or academics is really feeling like that. You know what I mean? He's really, you know, feeling like that guy. Academics basically took ATL Jacob up on his offer. And it seems like the two are actually going to be linking up to fight. Now, me personally, I've been watching academics for a while. I'll be quite honest. I think he's entertaining. And I think with his entertainment, he knows how to throw in some shit there to teach you some shit, especially about the music industry. So I've been watching academics literally since I was in high school, probably, right? Now I'm quite young, so that's not crazy to say, but since I was in high school. And one thing about academics, I've never seen him throw them bitches. I've never seen him, you know, get into his stance, squat down and, you know, squabble up. I've never seen academics squabble up ever. And I can't imagine the first nigga he's going to squabble up with is ATL Jacob. Like, what would that even do for Academics' career? I mean, if he knocked him out, like, it would do good because a lot of people think Academics is a lame. But out of all the people he could really get into a fight with, Freddie Gibbs, you know, Meek Mill. Like, there's a lot of other people he could have really just, you know, got the squabbles in with. But he didn't take them up on their offer, you know. Well, I think Meek Mill, he actually did take him up. You know, he actually was about to fight Meek Mill, allegedly. But... A lot of people, he doesn't really take them up on their offer to fight. So it's like, why ATL Jacob? So me personally, I don't think two millionaires, let's be real, uh, ATL Jacob, he's got a lot of hits with, you know, Future and the likes of those type of people. So, you know, he, he's getting the guap. Academics, you know, he's getting paid from these record labels, Spotify, etc. So they're both making money doing their thing out here. I doubt they're actually going to leave the comfort of their homes, which are probably really nice homes. I doubt they're going to leave the comfort of these homes to squabble up over Cardi being offset beefing and what was said about the whole beef, etc. I highly doubt that those two are going to engage in that, that type of activity. But you never know. Egos can actually have a strong hold on people and cause them to do crazy shit. So let me let me know in the comment section down below. Do you think they're going to, you know what I'm saying, fist up, squat down, and squabble up? Do you think academics and ATL Jacob are going to squabble up and throw them bitches, you know, throw them dudes, bing, boom, mink, mink? It's, it's, it's. Nah, I'm gonna lie. With academics, I think it's gonna be more of a me, me. You know, he's got a lot of weight. ATL Jacob, he kind of, he kind of is big. He's kind of big too, but he's a bit slimmer. So I think it might be a tss tss with ATL Jacob. With academics, it's a me, me. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, do you guys think they're gonna link up and fight? Let me know in the comment section down below. Who do you think is in the wrong? Because me personally, I think academics has a point. Like you're a producer, a lot of producers they can you know start forgetting like what got them there which is work and even though atl jacob says his opinion did get him there but it's really your work so you always should keep focused on the work what got you there so i do understand where academics is coming from but at the same time like 
Just because I'm in here making the FL Studio and the, you know what I'm saying, the hi-hats and all those type of things. That don't mean I can't talk now, you know, so I, I kind of get both sides. But guys, I appreciate every single one of you. Make sure to comment your opinions down below and I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.